Hello, my dear friends. Good morning once again. Sorry for the inconvenience because of technical difficulties. We're trying to come up with a wider range of our picture, but unfortunately, we still have to study more of that um, equipment. Okay? So, I would like to sh uh, make my shout out to Mom Gloria Watiwat Tejada, Mom Ying Angelina Ying Arias, Mom Benita Villanueva, my co teachers way back at the Home Economics Department, College of Industrial Education, PUP, and to my classmates, Leti Taginad Turaray, at Venus Rebino, Santos Rebino, and of course, Sir Bebot. Uh, Abanyo, good morning and thank you for watching. Alright, let us begin the day as we look forward to another learning. This time I will show you how to make a uh, pants pattern. But before that, let us start again our day with a prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord God, you are our source our strength, and the rock of our life. We are again done with the week and have faced different storms each day. We struggle as we go to and back from our work. And despite all this, we thank you for calming our minds, coolness of emotions, and hearts filled with gratitude to you. We pray to continuously give us the best of health so we can fight this pandemic. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. In the name of the Father and of the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Okay, welcome to my fourth episode of Fine and Learning in my dressmaking made easy. Last time, to have a short review, we have discussed how to make the basic sleeve and the skirt. And the salient points that I would like to remind you. Um, there are different types of sleeves. Number one is set in sleeve. We have the kimono sleeve, the right, the raglan sleeve, and the dolman sleeve. Okay, so these are the different uh, types of sleeves. And we discussed last time how to draft the basic sleeve pattern, and that is one example of a set in sleeve. Now I told you, okay, let me show you first. I told you that this will be the, your paper should be folded. At the center and then be sure that you have a perfect curve of your armhole and remember that the front armhole is bigger and higher than the back armhole okay and I told you to keep this in a hardboard to for future use and of course the use of the French curve be careful uh, we have first here and this is your French curve it is the French curve Okay, be sure that you put it this way, that way first, and then this way again. Okay, so learn to play with your French curve, sorry, French curve. Alright, and then we have our skirt pattern, and one salient point, that, salient point that I would like to remind you is to see to it that the waist of your pattern should be in a curved line using your uh, hip curve. Now remember when you don't have a, a curved waistline and when you attach that to the bodies of your dress there will be an excess no? or the front area will protrude all right so there you go now um i'm just having my my salient note so that i will not forget okay and i was able or we were able to come up with three styles in one pattern. We have the A-line, we have the straight skirt, and we have the pencil cut skirt. Okay? So, for today, we will be talking on how to draft the pants pattern. Alright. I am wearing for today is a terno, a blouse and pants uh, attire. Uh, can they see my uh, attire in pants? Huh? So, I have here a cherno, or sometimes it's a cherno, terno, huh? for a suit. Huh? Okay, this uh, attire, I wore this attire during the celebration of the Feast of the Immaculate Conception 
uh, when my daughter Warren Therese Nelaine was the hermano mayor way back in Leyte. Okay? Now, this is just a simple dress or simple blouse and pants dress. And the material that I've used is what we call the shantung. Okay? A shantung has two faces, face to face. The other face is a shiny one, and the other one is with ribs, you know, and even weaves. Now, I chose the face with ribs and not too shiny so that I will not look like a saint because you might, uh, friends might see me and may genuflect if they see me in shiny uh, clothes. Those are made for, of course, for saints, for clothes of saints, right? Okay? Now, this is this is just a cheap fabric. No? Maybe before I bought this at 85 pesos per yard. I don't know how much it is now. Siguro cheaper na rin dahil madala na bumibili. So, and then, to make it more um, formal, I added a lace you know, on the chest area. This is removable so that I can use other fabric or other design. No? So, Siguro this has been uh, three years ago or four years ago, okay? Kaya medyo feeling ko maluwag because of the lockdown, I did all the household activities. Kaya medyo pumayat si Dr. Yosores, okay? Now, how do, now, there are also pants that are finished with a garter on the waistline, worn by, of course, the elderly, so it will be easier for us to wear the pants. And some preggy you know, wants to be in fashion, they put garter on the waistline and yet they can be on pants. Alright, so for today, um, we will be discussing about pattern making of the pants. Now, can this be seen? You know? Alright, this will how our pattern for the pants will look like. Huh? So I again use two colors, the blue for the front and red for the back. Now, I would like also to take my dear friend, Dr. Emilda Glosso, because some of the tips uh, she gave me, I applied this on the pants pattern. You know? Kasi maganda yung nakikinig ka sa mga suggestions, and then, you can apply it in your own pattern making. Alright, so this will be how your pattern looks like. Huh? The, the front will be for the blue one, and the red for the black. Sorry, the blue one for the front, pants pattern and the red line for the black for the back pants pattern i'm always excited okay now we start with drafting our pants pattern uh, Anat, Chia, you put the camera on this part here so we start with the front pattern Okay, now, I would like you again to measure from the edge of your, okay, wait, wait, wait. Your, you fold your pattern, you get the longest part of your pattern. Ito na yata kinaka longest ko. If this may longest, hindi tingnan ko nga kung maabot yung 31. 31. Okay, pwede na ito, alright. So, you fold your pattern together. Now, it, it is not necessarily to be in a center fold as long as there is a pattern underneath because we will use the pattern underneath for our back pants, okay? So again, we measure we measure three and a half here as our starting point, right? No? From the edge, right? Ano ba yan? Okay, from the edge, we measure Two and one up first, okay? Again, two and one up here. Para lang may straight natin, ano? Kasi minsan nga, ang date bench, ang ating L square ay hindi diretso. Para lang po tayo may guide, yeah. So, we we'll start here, okay? Yeah. Tapos dito naman ko, we measure at least four inches. Yeah, four inches. Para lang hindi na mag-start. Okay. Ayako pinu inuuro niyan para hindi kayo mahirapan sa paglagay ng inyong mga markings. Huh? Pwede rin naman yan dito sa taas, pwede naman dito. Kaya lang para for the sake of putting your markings, meron kayong space. Okay? 
Now, this will our this will be our starting point. Okay, okay, before I forget, again our objectives for today is of course to use our pants measurements accurately and then draft the basic front and back pattern correctly and of course following the instruction of drafting the pants and pattern accurately. Okay, so those are the three uh, objectives that we have to meet for the day. Okay. So, going back, we start with A as our starting point, and then B from A is our um, crotch measure, okay? Right, B from A is our crotch measure. So, our crotch measure is, we know the crotch measure. Okay. Uh -huh. Nakalimutan ko yung sukat ng aking, aking ano, assistant to the manager. Okay. Uh, sige, tingnan po na lang itong touch measure niya dito. Okay, no? Ang touch measure niya ay... Well, alright? The crutch measure is 12. Okay? Yan, putat mo natin dito. Crutch, ay, ayan na naman tayo. Ayan na naman si ma'am. <coughs> Para nito ba ito? Crotch is 12. Pants length is 31. Ang sign niya ay... Pwede na lang natin dito. Ayun. Ang kanilang knee ay 18. 18. Ang kanyang bottom ay 14. Ang kanyang hips ay... Kapatid na lang natin dito ha. Kasi nasa baba yung kanyang sukat. So, nag-drop ako ng pattern nila sa baba. 42. Okay. Ang waist niya ay, ito rin po ang waist. Okay, 36. Ayan. Yan naman na kailangan natin. Ang thigh naman, maglalaro nung tayo sa thigh. Sige, sabihin natin ang thigh niya ay, ano ba ang thigh niya dito? 11, 22. Okay, so din natin 22 dito. Okay, yan, no? So, balik tayo. So, ang crotch niya ay 12. Now, pag nagpa-pattern tayo, and we start at this part here, ikita na. Kasi yung camera yung dapat naka-wide range, eh, nagka-problema. Pero niya ito nakalimutan na, gano'n, no? Pero we're trying to come up with a wider range, pero sige lang. Anyway, we have series of lectures naman, okay? So, ang crunch natin ay 12. When we, when we draft the pattern of our pants, we don't start at the end, no? at the edge, I mean at the edge. But we start from 1 and 1 fourth. 1 and 1 fourth is intended for your waistband. So, pag hindi natin tinanggalan ng 1 and 1 fourth ang ating sukat, and then we add the 1 and 1 fourth band on our waistline, hahaba masyado yung pantalon. Huh? Ma parang masyadong mababa naman sa crotch. So, we remove 1 and 1 fourth because we will be adding that later when we attach our waistband. Alright? So, if our crotch is 12, we start from 1 and 1 fourth. Okay? This is 12. Ayan. 12. Mahaba kasi yung kanyang crotch, kaya ganyan. No? Alright. And then, of course, we add 1 inch. Okay? 1 inch. Para hindi naman sumasakat sa ating um, crotch area yung pagdanon. Okay? So, this is your letter D. Huh? So, this is crotch measure. Get it from 1 and 1 4 and then get your 12 plus 1 inch. Huh? Okay. Ganun talaga. Minus plus. Minus plus. Alright? And then, you get the Pants length, which is 31, ganun din, nakas 1 fourth ka rin, na 1 1 fourth ka rin, then you get the pants length 31. Ayan, nakikita na? Alright, so, ngayon, buhit tayo na, okay. So, ilipat lang din natin dito, para hindi tayo malito at diretsyo. So, ang ating crotch ay 12, plus 1 inch, maging 13, plus 31. Okay, yan ang ating... So, buhitan muna natin para meron tayong guide. 
can be Balik ko lang yung blue kulay kasi naman hindi man tayo naka-white boy. Ano naman yun, nalaglag na naman. Okay, B. Alright. Diretso lang. Okay, nabaan lang natin siya. Okay, and then of course, our pants length. Ayan. Bulit muna. Bulit. Ayan. Okay. Ayan lang muna. Alright. So, this is your line C. Nag-guide lang. C. Okay. Siguro ito yung paste. I-stop state ko muna ito para hindi nililipad-lipad. At hindi tayo na pihilo. Kasi may electric fan ko. Okay. Ayan. Ayan. Alright. So we have A, B, C. B from A is your crotch measure plus 1 inch. But, start your measurement from 1 and 1 fourth of your tape measure. Okay. So, again, 1 and 1 fourth tape nakataas dyan. Ayan. Then, your crotch, 12 plus 1 inch, that will be 13. And then, your pants measure of 31. So, itong buhit na ito, ilipat lang natin para kumang time. Okay na pa? Kita? Kuya, kita? Perfect. Tali lang. Check. Kasi baka hindi lang nakikita. Okay? Kasi hmm. maganda sana Kita yung ito. Naman. Alright. Now, Kita we go to D. Ang D ay kalahati nitong D and C. So, we measure... We measure this one. So, 18. Kalahati ay 9. So, hindi natin dito ulit. 9. Okay. So, do it again. Kasi ito magiging lines to guide you in taking the different parts of your measure. So, this is line D. May labi dito line D, ha? Hindi kayo mag-ibig mo dito. Okay? And then, B. Uh, we, uh, next letter is D. Okay, again, para maliwanag. A, we start at 1 and 1 fourth. Inuulit-ulit ko lang po kasi para naman hindi kayo mahilo. Ayan, ang A, no? So, I start at 1 and 1 fourth. And then, your crotch, plus 1 inch. And then, your pants length at UBC, and then divide itong dalawa, itong gitna, laging letter D. Pagdating sa E, ang next na D is E, from B is your one-fourth of the hips measure, at ang hips measure niya ay 42. So, ang kalahati ay 40, 41, 42. Ayan, ayan. So, itong kanyang E. Ayan. Pagdating sa F, Ang F naman niya, FTHI center line guide to K. Pupunin mo ngayon naman itong pagitna nito. Ha? Punin yung gitna niyan. Gitna niyan, that is that's 5, 8, 10, 11, 1, 2, 5, 8, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, Magkuhita natin kayo ang diretsyo. Okay? Diretsyo po yan. Diretsyo. Hanggang baba. Hanggang baba natin. Kunda nyo na yung kuhit ko. Okay? So, magiging line F. Para mark mo yung baro lang yung tanda. F. G. H. At sa baba ay I. Ayan. Kita? Kita ba? Ayan. Kita? Right. So, 
Hinati natin to. Uh, we get the heat measure under line B to E. One part of the heat measure. Tapos sa heat measure na yan, nakati yung sa gitna. Okay? Pag-usukat dito, ilipat mo lang doon, ilipat mo sa babay, ilipat lang doon. At dire-direksyo mo rin. So, kasi ito po yung magiging center ng inyong pantalon. Alright? Then we have J. J and K. Okay. Dito ay 1 half inch. No? Dito ay 1 half inch. Alright? Now, sa pants pattern ng style ko, hindi nakadiretso yung isang. Naka-stand siya ng konto. So, kasi pag itinahin mo, ang ganda ng lapat kasi hindi siya parang overlap. Kasi minsan nung dating ginagawa ko siyang diretso lang, pag ginagawa, parang ka nang overlap sa rapat. So, nilagyan ko siya ng one half a kaso. And then when we put the zipper, maganda kanyang lapat. Right? So, we connect this one. Okay? The ruler na lang para may clear. Okay? Connect natin yan. Ayan. So, dito inyo, ang sabi ay letter J. Madali ako. J muna, then connect. Right? From J to K is 1 fourth waistline. So, ang waistline niya ay 36. So, ang 1 fourth nun ay 9. Okay? So, yan ang K. Hindi ako nagdadagdag ng dart sa harapan. Ha? Not unless, if you want to, pwede rin. Why not? Pero dito sa style ko, hindi ako nagdadagdag ng dart sa harapan para mas mas press ang may bilbil area. Although, you can also add dart. Dadagdag ka lang ng one and one Pero ako dito, sa pattern ko, hindi ako nagdadagdag ng one and one At dito sa pattern na gagamitin natin, mas maliit ng konti yung pattern ng front sa back. No? Kasi sa back, mas malapad-lapad because of the buttocks. No? Sa front naman, wala nung buttocks. Right? So, makikita nyo yun later. Okay. And then, L from B, this B, L from B is uh, one and one half inches. So, yan dito. Okay. So, B to L. So, palabas po tayo. Dapat ito palang kaya yan to. In-extend natin. No? Extend natin palabas. Yan. Kaya kailangan natin may space. So, one and one half. Ito po ay magiging crotch ng inyong harapan. So, it's my L. Okay. Para makita ni Lutura, gagamitin natin ng hip curve. Ay, sorry. French curve. Ayan. Enjoy mo siya dyan. Ah, ito yung harap na yung pagkalon. Okay? Now, ang sunod natin dyan ay Okay, one and one at least. M in on line edge, get one half of me. So, L, M in on line edge. Ito yan. On line edge, makukuha mo yung M and N. One half of me. Okay? Ano ang kanyang me? 18. Alright. Sa me and uh, sa bottom and sa tie, ito po yung sikreto po, no? Lagi po yung yan na naman tayo plus minus, alright. Halimbawa ang me mo ay 18, magiging 17 at 19. Ito yung front, ito yung back. Ulit? Alright. Sa me, meron akong tinatawag na plus and minus, no? Right. So, sa front, ang 8 ito, itong 18 mo, no? Sa front, magiging 17 siya, at ito magiging 19. Patikita yun, no? Better. Again, 18 ang ating, para malaki, ang ating mean. Okay? So, may plus and minus. Sa front, magiging 17. Sa back, magiging 19. Okay? So, ang gagamitin natin sa front ito. Okay? Babalik pa rin naman siya sa 18 then pag sa back, gagawin din 19. No? So, yun ang sikreto ko dyan sa magagawa ng pattern no? ng pagkano. So, ang M and N ay dito sa line H. No? Or 
point H. So, kung ang ni ay 17 for the front, ano ang kalahati ng 17? Kalahati ng 17 ay 16, 17 is 8 and 1 half. So, yung 8 and 1 half na yan, kunin mo yung gitna uli. 8 is 4 and 1 fourth. Yan, ito. Yan, 4 and 1 fourth. Okay? So, ito siya. At ito yung 18. Okay? So, ito yung M. At ito yung M. Nakuha. So, dito sa inyong ni. Kasi ito yung ni, di ba? Ito yung bottom, ito yung ni. Para siyang maikli, di ba? Parang kubo. Maliit lang po kasi yung aking model. At saka yung nahaba ng pantalon. Okay? So, para makuha ninyo yung measurement ng ni, ang sukat ng ni 18. Ngayon, sabi ko, meron tayong plus and minus. Ang plus, doon sa back mapupunta. Ang minus, doon sa front. So, kung ito ay 18, ang front ay 17, ang back ay 19. So, itong 17, ang gagamitin nyo yung dito. So, kalahati ng 17 ay 8 and 1 half. So, ang 8 and 1 half mo, hahatiin mo sa gitna kasi kailangan sa center siya. So, 4 and 18. 16, 17, 16, 17, 16, 17, 8 and 1 half. So, 4 and 1 half. So, mali niya. Dito po lang N. Alright. So, yan po ang inyong knee. Pagdating naman po sa bottom, ganun din. Ang bottom ninyo ay asan ang bottom? Yan. Ang bottom niya dito. Okay. Six and a half. Fourteen. Fourteen. So, ang bottom ay fourteen. Okay, so bottom 14, so plus and minus, dito ay 13, dito ay 15, okay? Ito yung front, ito yung back. So, pagdating dito sa front, itong gagamitin natin 13. So, kalahati ng 13 ay 6 and 1 half. So, kalahati pa ng 6 and 1 half ay 3 and 1 fourth. Yan. Tama? Yan. Tama? So, 13 ang nasa front. So, this is 13. Ayan. So, punin nyo lang yung gitna ng 13. So, ito ngayon ang inyong O and P. Okay. Ha? O, ngayon, pagdudugtungin natin yan para makita nyo itsura ng front. Unahin natin sa hip line. K to E, gumamit kayo ng hip curve. Ayan, di ba? Huwag nyo i-diretso muna ha. Kasi ang lang, pag diretso mo siyang ganyan, ang labas ng pantalon nyo, nakakurbadang ganun. Ha? So, we join K and E. Dahan-dahan lang pag join, huwag diretso. Ayan. Okay? Right? Kahit right? sabihin natin, pwede siya diretso ng ganyan, eh baka dumilog pag kinahin nyo. So, ginagamitan ko yan ng chin square. Ayan. Ayan, ayan. So, makikita mo rito, diretso siya. Nagudulas. Ayan. O, diba? So, yung pagbalon mo, wala siyang, wala siyang parang bumibilog na. Kasi minsan may mga pantalon na yung tabi, umiikot ng ganyan. Diba? So, para hindi umiikot ng ganyan, kita ba? Para hindi umiikot ng ganyan, gagamitan nyo ito ng hip curve. K to E lang muna. And then, E to P straight line. Okay? Ngayon, pag nakita nyo medyo tulis na tulis, that's the time, lalaroin ninyo ng hip curve. Yeah. Ah, huh? talagang tulis na tulis. Hindi naman, okay lang. Okay, and then, we have L yan, to M. O, oh, ayan. Ito rin muna sila. Yan muna. O, huh? and then, direct naman ito. Ayan. Okay. 
So, meron ka ng front pattern. Right? So, again, ulitin natin. B from A is your crotch measure plus 1 inch. Pero you start your tape measure in or at 1 and 1 fourth. Ayan. Okay? And then you have the pants length. So, ito pa rin. Dere-derecho pants length. And then you get the middle. You have your line D. Okay? And then, pag nakuha na din yung middle, dere-derecho yan. Derecho, point F, G, H, I. Alright? Then, J, as in J, from A to J is one half of an inch. So, pwede nyo na ito i-join together ang B and J. And then, you pwede nyo ito i-shape ng French curve, itong L, papunta doon. Yan ang inyong front or crotch seam sa harapan. Huh? And then, after that, you get your knee. One half of knee is, your knee measure is 18. So, I told you plus minus. So, kung ang knee ay 18, sa front magiging 17, sa back magiging 19. So, this 17, yun ang ilalagay nyo yun dito. Kalahati ng 17 ay 8 and 1 half. So, ang 8 and 1 half, kahatiin mo ulit at magiging 4 and 1 fourth. Ayan. Ha? So, lalabas pa rin siya 8 and 1 half. So, ganun din sa bottom. Ang bottom ay 14 plus minus magiging 13. Ang front magiging 15. Ang back. So, sa front ay 13 magiging 6 and 1 half. Okay, so 6 and 1 half, kukunin mo lang yung center, 3 and 1 fourth, o magiging 6 and 1 half siya. Okay? So, yan yung yung O and P. Nakikita ko po yan, yung O and P ko. Huh? Check nyo na. Kita? Kasi sa ano, O and P. Alright. And then, after that, you connect K and T e with a hip curve. Ayan. And then, this one with your straight line. No? Or else clear. Ayan. So, ito yun yung side seams. Tapos dito naman sa L to M, use your uh, hip curve. Ganito ha, hindi na kaganyan ha, hindi ganon ha. Ito po ang dulo, okay? Yan, ganyan. So yan, tapos diretsyo. And then, you, can, you will look at it now as your front at J to L, L, M, O to P, then N, E, K. This is your front pattern. Maliwanag po. Hindi kayo nahilo. Okay. Practice lang yan. Alright. So, tapos na ang ating front pattern. So, we go now to our back pattern. Gagamit ako ng red naman para hindi kayo mahilo. Okay? So, we use the red pencil. Alright. Sundan ko lang itong pattern kasi para magpinicturan. Ito na susundan ninyo. Alright. So, sa back pattern, uh, para lang yung tayo nalito dito. Nakikita ko? Nakikita ni Didi kita ko? Okay. Ganyan talaga ang live. Kasi ayoko ng video video. Now, if you have questions, sige, ano lang, chat chat lang. At, uh, we will try to answer that later. And dito si Kuya, para tingnan yung mga questions ninyo. And then we will answer that before we end the show. Okay? Show daw, artista na si Ma'am. Okay. Now, we start now with the back pattern. So, we will be using the red pen. Okay? Halina po yan. Alright. We start with, um, we will use numbers this time para may kayo malita, no? So, from point F, so where is F? This one. Point F. Alright. We measure 1 and 3 fourths. 1 and 3 fourths, ganyan. F, ha? Huh? is 1. Okay. 
Nagkakagulo ang aking munin at ang aking mga doggies. Alright. So, 1. F from 1. Uh, 1 from F is 1 and 3 fourths. Okay? And it is square up. It is square up. Okay? And then, B from 2. Sorry. 2 from B. No? 2 from B is 1 half of an inch. Alright. So, dito po yung 2. Ayan. Yan ang 2. Kita ko yan? Alright. So, B. Ito yung line B mo ha. Itong point B. Point B. Pagpunta rin sa loob. 1 half. That is your number 2. Okay? And then, 3 from 1. So, where is your 1? Ah, sorry. It's not 1. But, I. Ha? Pala. Sorry po. Ito pala pala 1. So, 3 from 1. Ito na yung 1 and 1 fourth. So, cut lang muna. Wala pang guhit-guhit. So, cut lang muna. 1 and 1 fourth. So, yan ang 3 mo. Okay? Pataas. 3 from 1, pataas. 1 and 1 fourth. Alright. So, para makita muna natin kung yung ginagawa natin. We connect 2 and 1 together. Okay, let's... Ang ingay ng mga doggies. Okay, we connect 2 and 1 first. Ayan. Ayan, ganyan ha. Mag-extend lang tayo. Extend. Ayan. Okay. So, dito yung 1 and 1 for 2. Ayan ang 3. Okay. Ayan. O. Mamaya malalaman nyo. O. Okay. Although alam naman ninyo na ito na yan ay para sa likwa. Okay. And then... 4 from 3 is your 1 fourth of the waist. Yan na. 1 fourth of the waist plus 1 and 1 fourth. Ang waistline ay 36. So, mula dito ang start. Yan. Yan. Mula dyan, 36. Ito 36 niya. Plus 1 and 1 fourth. Yan. Kasi sa likod, may dark style. Dahil meron tayong umbok sa wet. No? So, alangan may dark. Okay. So, this is Ano yung measurement ito? A number? Four. Okay, four. So, we go to five. Sa line, sa point two, one-fourth of the hips. Ang hips ay 42. So, ito ay 40, 41, 42. Ayan, dito siya. So, this is your number five. Okay? So, kung mag-L-square naman ay maganda, pwede L-square lang ginagamit pa ikot-ikot, no? Okay. So, 5. And then, we get 6. 8, 6, 9. Ayan. Is five, uh, waist dark. Alright. So, balik tayo dito. No? So, we connect. We connect this first. Kasi, tumalo tayo 5. One first connect. I connect 3 and 4. Alright. Connect mo. Kasi, unahin natin yung taas. No? Connect 3 and 4. Okay. And then, get the middle. Get the needle. So this is 10 and 1 4. 10, 11, 1 up, 1 4. Alright. Tapos, islat ito. Gunitin natin ito. Guhit kayo pababa. Yan, naka-islat na ganyan. Yan. Huh? Balikta rin natin para makita the inches. Yan. 4 and a half din. Okay? Yan, 4 and a half din. Kung paano natin ginawa yung hat, sa katawan, ang haba ng guard, gano'n din sa, yan. 4 and a half, and then, we get, diba? We get, 5 8s, 5 8s, kasi 1 and 1 for 2 dinagdag, ayan. Tapos, we connect, yan, tingnan mo yan. We connect together, yan, saka yan. O, oh. So, may dart sa kayo sa likod. Tapos, para makita yung itsura ng inyong pantalon, we connect 4 and 5. Ayan. Okay lang yan pag ganyan ang itsura nyo. Okay, mataranta. No? Okay pa lang yan. Okay. Ayan. Okay? So, yan ang 4 and 5. Okay? Okay. Then we go to, sa anong point natin to? Ito ay 
supply last of all five, the number two. We have to dito. So this is your six, your seven, your eight, and your nine. Nine, nine, nine. Yeah. So yun lang dark dyan. Yeah. Okay. And then we connect four and five. Okay? So, sunod natin ay ten. Ten na. Ten, eleven, one half of the measure. So, dito tayo sa line ng D. Uh, para makuha natin ang back knee measure. So, ang knee natin ngayon ay back na ay 19. So, kalahati ng 19 ay 9 and 1 half. Tama? Kalahati ng 19 ay 9 and 1 half. 18, 19. So, kalahati pa ng 9 and 1 half ay 8, 9, and 4, and 3, 4. So, ayan. 4 and 3, 4. Next. 9 and 1 half. 18, 19. Ayan. So, ito ngayon ang ayan. Ang inyong uh, pen 11. Kasi may pen na tayo 9. So, pen ito. Anong number ko dyan? Pen ito. Pen, ito ay 11. Okay? Ayan. Tapos, ang 12, 13, kapareho din dito. Ang bottom natin ay 14. So, tama ba? Bottom natin ay 14. So, kung ito ay 14, diba? Ayan ay 13. So, 14, magiging 15, 7 and 1 half. So, 6, 6, 7, diba? 14, ano yun? 15, 14, 15. So, 7 and 1 half. Kalahati, kalahati ng 7 and 1 half ay 3 and 3 fourths. Kasi 7 and 1 half. Kasi 3 and 3 fourths. So, lipat mo rito. 3 and 3 fourths ka. Ayan. At dito naman, 7 and 1 half. Okay. Minsan, 1 half, 1 half lang talaga difference niya. Pero, for the sake of accurate measurement, susundan natin ang suka. Okay? Okay. And then, we connect we connect this first. Kasi mayroon tayo mag-connect para sabay sa lahat. So, may kulang pa tayo. Anong number na tayo? Ay, ito ay 12, 13. 12, 8, 12, 6, 12, 6, 13. Okay. Ang 14, 14, 13 from 14 is 3 inches. Saan ang 13 natin? Okay. Dito galing yan. Sa point B, alabas, actually, this is B. B to 14 is 3 inches. Okay? Yan. This is uh, 13, 14. 14. Okay? So, from point B, ito yung point B mo, alabas is your 13, 3 inches. Okay? Now, pwede tayo mag-connect-connect. Huh? We connect 14 and 10 first. Ayan. Tignan muna ha. Ayan. Okay. And then, this one, 10 and 12. Ayan. Okay. Tapos, we connect we have connected 4 and 5. We connect this one naman. 5 to 13. Ayan. Na? Tretch yan. Okay. So, anong napansin ninyo? Sa side seams. Huh? Pansin ninyo, sa side seams ay pumapasok dito. Hindi po ganyan ang pantalon dapat. That's why, ina-adjust natin using your hip curve. Dinagpukunin natin siya ng dahan-dahan. From, uh, from the highest point or highest peak of your batak. Dahan-dahan pa ganun. Okay? Ayan. Ayan. Diba? Di gumanda na yung side seams. Kasi pag hindi nga in-adjust, nang ganito, 
magkakaroon kayo ng kanto sa inyong hips. Saan kayo nakakita ng pantalo na may kanto sa hips? So, wala. So, adjusting you using your hip curve. So, gaganda na yung inyong side seam. Right? At dito naman, ito yung kung halimbawa ang medyo kanto din dyan, i-adjust nyo rin ito ng dahan-dahan. Ayan. Ayan. Oh, ayan. Okay. Huh? So, this is now your ito na yun yung uh, inside seams kumbaga. Pero mayroon tayong a-adjust dito sa my crotch area. Para yung pantalon nyo habang suot-suot nyo, hindi kumakagat. Although minsan may mga pantalon talaga na kumakagat. I don't know baby because of the crotch. No? Kasi pag hindi, pag kumakagat ang pantalon habang naglalakad ka, mataas ang crotch area. So, sa back, magbababa tayo ng one half of an inch. Huh? Pero pag medyo mataba-taba ang kliyente, mga five eighths. Huh? Oh, Nagyan natin five eighths na lang. Yan. So this is now your, ano tawag na, ano number nila ito dito? So this is now your 15. Huh? Okay. Then, connect this one with your uh, French curve. Yan. Dahan-dahan lang din ang pag-connect. Huwag yung bibiglain. Okay. Yan. Yan ang inyong back area, no? So, hindi na ito, kundi ito na. Huwag yung patutulisin ng ganun, ha? Kasi gaganyan niya pag pinabas mo. So, kailangan, smooth lang na pag binugtong mo sa kabila, ganun lang siya. Huh? Ganun lang, nililipat lang. Okay? Yan. Now, sa side seams, dahil nagbaba kayo rito ng 5 eighths, mag a din kayo din sa side seams. Kasi pag ito binawasan nyo at hindi nyo in-adjust ang front, hindi siya magpapantay pag tinahin nyo yung side seams. Okay? Right. So, we measure, we measure the side seams of your front. Measure the side seams of your front. Ayan. Dahan-dahan. Gila. Ayan. So, you have 18 and 1 half. Yung 18 and 1 half, Ililipat nyo starting from point 15. So, point 15. Pababa ng ganon. Ganyan, ganyan, ganyan. 18 and 1 half. So, 18 and 1 half po ay ito ngayon. Ayan. Okay? So, diretsyo mo ito. Ayan, dito yan. Diretsyo yan. Ayan. Ito, tapos, itong 13 mo at saka itong bago mo i-jo-join. Ayan. Ha? Huh? So, mapapansin ninyo, mas mababa, at nakikita ko yan, mas mababa ang side seams ng back, no, kesa sa, side, uh, in, in seam, in seam, in seam ng back, kesa sa in seam ng back. Okay? okay? Next. So, this is now your basic front and back pattern. Now, just like your uh, darts for your front and back, you have to fold the darts together para makuha kayo ng new line. So, so ito yung kanyang tinan natin kung makikita. Okay. Yan ang kanyang kalalawasan. Huh? Okay. Tinan ko nga. And, okay. So, dito, pag sinara nyo yung dart, magkakaroon din kayo ng adjustment sa taas. Huh? Now, kung halimbawa, no? This is the basic pattern. Right? Kita? Lumabas yung aking cameraman. Ako mag-check-check. Kung nakikita. O, oh, yan. Okay? Ayan. Ayan na. Now, pag ito, natapos nyo na, you have to trace one part of this para pag nagtabas kayo, isang front at isang back. So, when you lay that out on the fabric, no? Meron kayong pattern ng front, meron kayong pattern ng back. Pero sa mga siyempre expert na, mga lagi nang ginagawa, malimit nang nananahe, isang pattern na lang, ina-adjust-adjust na nila. Na, nasisipat na nila, kasya na yung tela doon sa inyo pattern. Pero kung beginners, you have to cut one piece of front, one piece of back. So that when you lay that out on the table or on your fabric, alam na ninyo kung magkakasya ba yung front, magkakasya yung back. Kasi dalawa yung pattern niyo. Okay? 
So, we trace this one here. Ayan, doon. Dito. Ayan. Ito. Hanggang dito. Sa kabilang. Ayan. Ayan. Kaya nga, sabi ko, dapat meron kayong isa pang papel sa ilalim. Ha? Ayan. Tapos, you can use your carbon. Pag sa papel, pwede kayong gumamit ng ordinary carbon, yung itim. But when you are sewing in fabric, or, you, ito, or transferring design, or sewing lines to the fabric, huwag kayong gumamit ng carbon kasi matagal siyang matanggal o bilalahan. So, now, kung talagang wala and you really need to use the carbon, very, very light lang ang tracing. Na? Of course, you will need a tracing paper. At ito yung ginagamit ko. Hindi ako nagpro-promote ito kasi nabibili ko. Uh, ito yung ginagamit kong tracing paper. So, it, it comes in different colors. So, pag medyo, pag medyo dark ang inyong fabric, pwede kayong gumamit ng carbon na kulay puti. Ayan, ito yung laman niya. May blue, ayan, may pink, may white, may green, may yellow. Okay? So, ipetrace nyo yung ipetrace nyo ito no? sa ilalim na kalagay ganyan and then use a tracing wheel eto po ang tracing wheel, hindi po ito pang pizza. No? Tracing wheel, ganyan. No? Okay, trace natin yan. No? Kung sa, sa table, mas madaling gawin ito kaya na kasi nasa whiteboard tayo. Tapos mag mga stempre, ganyan natin. Yan, labo lang. No? Palalaki. So, you have to trace this. So, pag trace na yan, You can cut the back, the front pattern, and you have your own back pattern. You can cut the front pattern, and you have your own back pattern. So, the lang piraso na. Sa gets po, nakita ko. Check ko lang, ha? So, nakita ba yung part na nandiyan ako? Nakita ko dyan? Okay, so, kasi nakadigit yung camera sa akin. Alright, yan. So, again, Going back, we start with the front pattern from A, of course. Balikan natin ang nakaraan. Ang akin naman muna, tingnan nyo, nakahiga sa akin pattern ba ito? Ito naman naman. Okay, ito talaga muna yung main. Okay, no? So again, going back, we start with one and one fourth. Remember, one and one fourth is intended for the waistband. So one and one fourth, then we get the crotch plus one inch. Bakit may nagdagdag na 1 inch? Para hindi masyadong nakasakat yung ating crotch or nakadikit. And then, we have your pants layer. Okay? So, then after that, we get the middle of this one, line B and line C. At ito yung ating line B. At ito yung magiging part where we can, we will get our knee. And then, here on the part here, we get our bottom. So, itong buhit na to, pataas niyo pababa para meron kayong guide. So, ito yung mangyayari. Ito yung pinaka-piston ng inyong pantalon. No? Ito yung piston ng pantalon. Alright? And then, we get one fourth. Pasok tayo ng one half dito for the front. And then, J to K is one fourth of your waist. And then, from point B to point E is your one fourth hips. And then, this one here, you get your knee plus minus again. If your knee is 18, your front will be 17, and then your back will be 19. So this will be 17. Kalahati na 17 yan, ito. Then kalahati na na ito na uh, bottom na 13, kasi plus minus again. Front magiging 13, back magiging 15. Okay, ayan. And then, from here, we add one and one half, from point B to L, one and one half. And then we shape with the French curve, okay? And then we connect our K and E with the hip curve. And then E and T e with a straight line. Pag may may, may tulis or may kanto, dag ayusin ng uh, hip curve, okay? 
and then we connect L, M, and P. Yeah. So we have our the blue lines here is our front pattern. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So from the front front pattern from the front lines that we got. Doon din tayo mag-umpisa ng ating back. So, we start with number 1. Our point 1 and our is our number 1. Okay, from point F daw, 1 is 1 and 3 quarters. So, ito kasi ang ating nasa likod ng pantalon. No? Kailangan siya medyo naka-islan ng konti kasi nga yung kaka, pag dito ka mag-umpisa, magkakaroon ka ng maraming sobra. No? So, dito para medyo naka-islan ang back. Ayan, kaya kaya yan. So, from F, 1 and 1, 1 and 3 quarters. Okay. That one is one and three parts. And then from two, from point B2, one half lang yan, and then you connect. Okay? And then pataas is one and three fourths. Uh -huh. Number three is one and oh, one, one fourth up. And then from this, puni mo yung one fourth of the waist plus one and one fourth, that's your four. So, pwede mo na yung muna i-connect para hindi ko malito, no? And then yung inyong five, ay from here, from here, from two, one fourth of your hips, yellow five, and then ang inyong knee, kung paano kinuha ninyo yung front knee, minus uh, plus, so dito ay naging 19 na, so one half of 19 na ito, tapos ito naman ay one half na of 15, no? So, kung yung, yung 18 nating knee, minus sa maging 17 ng front, plus mo naman maging 19 ang back. So, itong susundan ninyo, supat nila naging dyan. Pero pag inyong sinukat ito at pinag-join nyo, lalabas pa rin itong 18. Okay? So, meron ang, ang pads kasi, laging mas maliit o mas makikigpitin ang front kasi sa back. Now, dito sa pattern na ginawa ko, ayan, sa pattern na ginawa ko, hindi pa ako nagdagdag yan ng alawa, ng score, sorry. Ang ibang patterns na ginagawa sa pantalon at pag nagsusukat sila, sinasama na yung allowances. For beginners, wag na muna natin isama yung allowances kasi mas mahihilo kahit malilito. Anyway, pag nagawa naman ninyo yung pattern, you can just add your sewing allowance. Now, sa mga tailor, maliit lang ang allowance na nilalagay. Pero ako, I always add 3 fourths of an inch kasi in the event na gusto kong paluwagan, meron akong room for adjustment. Pag eksakto kasi, usually eksakto lang lang yung sukat niya, wala ka nang uturungan kung gusto mo siya luwagan. Okay lang kung palilitan, walang problema. But if it is, if you want it to be wider, wala ka nang uh, room for adjustment. So, nagdadagdag ako both sides, front and back side, 3 fourths of an inch. Pag tumatagal na, 1 half na lang. No? Yun ang pagkakaiba natin sa custom made because in the custom made, we really add the exact allowance. Sa ready to wear dresses, talagang minimal ang kanilang allowances. Remember, it is a, a, a ready-to-wear dresses na talagang they maximize the fabric. So, kahit magilit na yung allowance, yun lang kayo nilalagay para mas marami silang magagawang damit. Hindi katulad sa custom-made, you really have to put allowance enough for adjustment. Okay? Kasi naman, ang tela naman sa'yo. Okay? Alright. So, do you have any problem or any question in the pants making? Malinaw po ba tayo? Okay. Anyway, you can uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Then you can go back to this anytime. And then, of course, uh, for the way for the procedure, um, I pop up close up to the procedure para meron ka yung guide. And then you can start drafting your own pattern. So again, to practice the skills in the art of pattern making. Yung five measurements na sinagest ko, you have to make patterns for them. Pati na yung pants. Talagang ganun, medyo expensive ang paggagawa ng pattern, gagamit ka ng papel. Pero talagang, if you would like to learn something, we keep on practicing. Okay? So, any question? Any violent reaction? Right? Alright, any, any more? Meron, meron, kung meron po kayong tanong, pakicheck nga, yeah, kung meron mga question, yung mga tanong. If not, later, I can, I can uh, go back to your comments and I can answer them one by one. Alright? So again, we're done with the day. I hope you have uh, 
understood my lesson. Understood my lesson. You have learned something from me today again. All right. So. Uh, I would like first to thank my technical team, no? Winston Christian Joseph, Warren Therese Lemayne, uh, of course we have Christopher, RJ, and Ina, and also Rose who are sometimes coming over, and, then, and of course to my supportive hubby, Winston, this will not be possible without you guys because you always agree and my number one fan is in anything that I would like to do and to share with you. Right? So again, we had a good day and before we end, let us have a short prayer. In the name of the Father, of the Son, of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Dear God, we thank you for another day. Thank you for our families. We pray that you keep on to seal, protect, and free us and all those who are dear to us free from harm and danger. Thank you for the gift of life. We promise to share with you and enjoy it, or we promise to share this with and enjoy with our girlfriend. In Jesus' name, Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, the Holy Spirit, Amen. Okay, uh, please bear with us with the noise uh, all over. It's Saturday. Okay, for the neighbors. Ganun talaga pag live. Okay, see you on July 18. We start with transferring the different positions of darts. And then on July 11, we will go to the different shapes of the neckline. And then on July 15, we will make a pattern for a sleeping garment. No? So, siguro, we, we make a simple sleeping garments muna, pero dadagdagan natin siya or gagawa natin siya ng garterized shorts. No? So, hope to see you then and then hope you enjoy the day and please bear with the inconveniences. Ganun talaga ang live. Okay? So, thank you very much. Please don't forget to like share and subscribe to my YouTube channel na ginawa ng mga anak ko. At maaring ito ay maging avenue to help all the teachers, especially in the Home Economics Department. And of course, also to all the Patesco members who are teaching Glotty. Hi, Patesco members! And also, of course, to my students are brought. Uh, Teresa, thank you very much. You are uh, developing your child to practice sewing. Very good kid yan, very good. No? So let's start our kids with uh, sewing at that early age so that they will appreciate how to make different dresses. Okay? So just bye for now and see you next week. God bless.